Whoa, what are these? It looks like we found some dinosaur eggs. Can you help me count how many dinosaur eggs we found? One, two, three, four, five. We found five dinosaur eggs. I wonder what could be inside them. Should we find out? All right, let's see. Which one should we open first? The purple one? Great idea. All right, let's shake it up. Let's open it. It's a purple dinosaur. Wow, what kind of dinosaur is this? It looks like it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, or we can call him T-Rex. He is one of the scariest dinosaurs, and he runs on two legs. He has a big head and short little arms. He can run really, really fast. Let's put him right here. Which egg should we open next? Let's open the yellow egg. Okay, let's open it. Wow, it's a yellow dinosaur. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? It looks like a Brachiosaurus. A Brachiosaurus was a huge dinosaur. He had four big legs like tree trunks and a long neck and tail. He uses his long neck to help him eat leafy plants on trees. Let's put him down right here. Which dinosaur egg should we open next? The pink egg? All right, let's shake it. Okay, let's see what's inside. Let's open it. <gasps> Whoa, it's a red dinosaur. This dinosaur looks like it could be an Allosaurus. He's kind of like the T-Rex, but he has scales all down his back. He has a big head and he also runs really fast on his two legs. Let's put him right over here. Okay, which egg should we open next? Let's open the green egg. All right, let's open it. <gasps> what dinosaur is this? Have you seen this dinosaur before? It's called a Triceratops. That means he has three horns on his face and his mouth looks a little bit like a beak of a bird. He has a mane around his face made of bones. It kind of looks like the mane of a lion. Let's put him right here. There's only one egg left, the orange egg. All right, let's open it. Wow, what dinosaur is this? This dinosaur looks like a velociraptor. A velociraptor is a smaller dinosaur. He runs on two legs, but he can be very, very fast. And he's very smart. He can also use his tail to help him balance. He has really long claws and three fingers. Let's put him down right here. He can use his tail to balance. That was so cool opening all of the dinosaur eggs. How many dinosaurs did we find? Can you count? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, we found five dinosaurs today. That was so much fun. Hmm, what's that in the dirt? Do you see that? Let's brush some of this dirt away. It looks like dinosaur fossils. I can see a tail and a body and some limbs. I also see his face. Hmm, let's see if we can get the dinosaur fossils and put them all together. Can you help me? <coughs> all right, we've dug up our dinosaur bones and put the fossils all together to make a dinosaur skeleton. Dinosaurs went extinct many years ago, but we can still see dinosaur skeletons and fossils at some museums. Do you know what dinosaur this looks like? It looks like a stegosaurus. A stegosaurus has plates all the way down its back and its tail. Can you help me count the dinosaur plates? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six plates. Here's another one of my friend's dinosaurs. Hello. He has different colored spikes all over his back. 
Maybe we can count the spikes. Let's separate the different colors. Let's count the orange spikes first. Here's one orange spike. Here's another orange spike. That's two. Hmm, here's another orange spike. That's three. Three orange spikes. What color should we count next? <laughs> I see some blue spikes. Should we count those? Okay, let's do it. One blue spike. I see another one. That's two. Two blue spikes. And I see one more. Can you see it? All right. That's three. Three blue spikes on the dinosaur. I see some other colors. Let's take a better look. What other color spikes can you see? Yellow? All right, let's count them. There's one yellow spike. Is this another? All right, that's two yellow spikes. Hmm, I see one right in the back. Let's turn our dinosaur all the way around. There we go. I see another yellow one. Can you see it? Yes, there's three, three yellow spikes. What color is left? That's right, the green spikes are left. Let's count them. One green spike. There's two green spikes. And there's one more. All right, that's three green spikes. Now our dinosaur has no spikes left. I found some piles of dinosaur spikes. Can you help me count how many spikes are in each pile? Let's start with the blue pile. How many do you count? Yes, I count one dinosaur spike. One blue spike. How about the yellow pile? Let's count them. One and two. There are two yellow spikes. There's one pile left. It's the orange pile. How many orange dinosaur spikes do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three orange spikes. What if we added some of our piles together? Hmm, let's add the orange pile and the yellow pile together and let's see how many spikes we have now. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. When we added the yellow and the orange piles together, we got five spikes. Now let's add the blue spike as well and count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. When we add all of our piles together, we have six dinosaur spikes. Great job counting. Do you know what shape this is? It's a dinosaur and it's called a triceratops. Triceratops means it has three horns on its face. One, two, three. Can you help me with the triceratops popper? I need to pop all of the red buttons. One, two, and three. I also need to pop all of the green buttons. Can you help me pop them? One, two, three, and four. Last, I need to pop the purple buttons. One, two. Great! A lot of animals that we see around us today actually come from the dinosaurs. They've been around for years and years. We call them their ancestors. Some animals include birds, fish, and reptiles. I have some puzzle pieces here of animals that I need to match together. Can you help me? Okay, let's look at this piece first. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a snake. It's a yellow snake. Can you help me find the matching piece of the snake? Is this it? 
Hmm, no, I don't think that's it. Is this the right piece? No. How about this piece? All right, let's see. They match together. They match together to make the yellow snake. We looked for clues by matching up the same colors and the same shape. Let's put our snake down right here. Can you hear the snake sound? All right, let's take a look at this piece next. It looks like a fish. What colors are the fish? Yes, the fish is blue and red. Let's find its matching puzzle piece. Let's look for some clues that match the red and blue on his fins. Does this look like it could be the match? Hmm, no, not that one. This piece? Let's see. Yes, they are a perfect match. Now we have the two pieces to our fish. We matched the colors on his fins, red and blue. Can you hear the fish sound? We only have two puzzle pieces left. I wonder if they match together. Let's see. Yes, it looks like they match. Do you know what this picture makes? That's right, it looks like a bird sitting on a tree branch. This bird is called a toucan because he has many different colors on his beak. Now we've matched together the toucan, the fish, and the snake. One. Two. Three. Four.